All right then, so we saw this problem in the last lesson whereby if we're logged in and we refresh the page, we don't see the correct content. We see the content as if we're logged out. And that's because we're not changing the user state value to begin with when we first load the page, only when either we log in, sign up or log out. So we need to also, when we first load the page, run some code to reach out to Firebase, say, look, are we logged in or not? They respond with a response. And if we are logged in, that response will contain the user who's logged in and we can update the state to be that user. So that's what we're gonna do now. So to do this, we're going to do a few different things. First of all, we're going to create a new property up here, and this is called auth is ready. And that's going to be false to begin with. Now, this property right here is going to basically say when the authentication has first made a connection, if you like, with the back end to say, look, do we know whether the user who has just loaded the page is logged in or logged out? And until we do that, and until we get a response to say whether they are logged in or not, we can't really say whether they are or not. So at that point, the authentication service isn't really ready. It's false. Now, when we get that initial response, then we're gonna change this to true, okay? And we'll use that later on in our template, and I'll show you how we'll use it. Now, we also need a mutation to change this when we do get that initial response. So what I'm gonna do is create that down here, set, auth is ready like so oops is ready and inside here we're taking the state and we're taking a payload now what i want to do is basically just update this auth is ready property to be the payload so that's going to be true or false right when we call this it's ultimately going to be true because we're only going to call it once auth is ready once we have that initial response back so i'm going to say state dot auth is ready oops is ready and then set that equal to the payload which will be true okay so now what i want to do is make that initial connection with firebase auth to check what the user status is when they first load the page now to do that we need to use a function called on auth state changed so what i'm going to do with this is right at the bottom of the page i'm going to call this function on auth state changed now it's not inside an action because we're not going to call this from anywhere. It's just going to run automatically to begin with. All right. Now then inside here, we pass in the auth object and then also a function. Now this function is going to fire whenever there is a change in authentication state, including once initially after we've made the first initial connection to Firebase auth. And then inside here as an argument, we get access to a user object. So when our application first loads in the browser, this is going to fire straight away and it's going to try and connect to our authentication backend. And it's going to basically say, look, what is the current status of the user? Are they logged in or are they not? And then as soon as Firebase figures that out, it sends us back a response. And if there is a user logged in, then this will be the user right here. If it's not logged in the user, then this value will be null, okay? So this function fires when we get that response. And inside here, this is where we want to commit a couple of things. So I'm gonna grab the store and commit, first of all, the set auth is ready. And we're gonna pass in true because auth is ready now. We've had that initial connection. And the next thing I want to do is say store.commit to commit another mutation. And this is going to be set user. And the value of the user is gonna be whatever we get back here. That's either gonna be the actual user if they're logged in, or it's gonna be null if they're not logged in. Now, the last thing I want to do is say over here, const unsub is equal to this because this returns a function to unsubscribe from changes. And then we need to unsubscribe right here because if we don't, then every time the use auth changes, then it's gonna fire this function. And we don't wanna do that over and over again. We just wanna do it once to begin with. So we have to call this unsub function to unsubscribe from those changes. So then it only fires once to begin with when we first make that connection, all right? So then, I think that is pretty much it now. So now to begin with, we're finding out that initial user and updating it in our store up here and also updating auth is ready to be true as well, to say, look, we've made that initial connection and we know now whether the user is logged in or not. So let's use this information. Let's now go to the nav bar and I want to only output certain links once auth is ready is true. 
All right, so what I'm going to do, in fact, is surround this entire thing right here, these three divs, with a template. So let me put a template tag right here and a template right at the bottom, like so. And what I'm going to do is say v hyphen if is equal to auth is ready. Now we need to actually grab that from the store down here. So let me say auth is ready like so. That's a computed value. And this function is going to return store.state.auth is ready like so. So that's going to be false to begin with. But then when we make that initial connection, then it's going to be true. Once we figured out whether a user is logged in or not. So now basically I'm saying, look, only show these links in the navbar once we know whether authentication is ready or not, because then we can be guaranteed to show the correct links. All right. If we didn't show this, then what would happen is it would show these links to begin with, log in and sign up. And then after a second or so, after Firebase figures out whether we're logged in or not, and we make these commits down here, once we've done that, if the user's logged in, then it will show these. So they will swap. That's if we didn't have this right here. But if we wait until auth is ready, then it's not going to show any of this until we make that initial connection. So we won't get that flashing of links. It will just wait and then show the correct links. All right. So now let's save this, cross our fingers and see if this works in a browser. All right, then. So I'm logged in as Peach. If I refresh, then we don't see links for a split second until we make that connection. But then we show the user up here and the correct links and we see the icons as well. Awesome because we updated that state initially once we made that initial connection, right? Now, if we log out and refresh, the same happens, but we see the correct links and we don't see the icons. Now I'm going to log in as Mario at netninja.dev test12345, login. We should see the correct email up here, we do. And if I refresh again, we see it waits a split second and we see the correct links and data right away. Awesome. And that, my friends, is pretty much the end of the project. And hopefully it sheds some light on how we can use Vuex to manage global state in a Vue 3 application, in particular, how to manage authentication state when we're using Firebase Auth. And in the future, who knows, I might do more Vuex tutorials for other services like Firebase Firestore. So then, my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well. You can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here. And for that, like I said, you get access to every course without adverts, without YouTube adverts. You also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else. You get access to my premium courses on Udemy and also early access to all of my YouTube courses as well. So the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this series and I'm going to see you in the very next one.